Hi guys, welcome back to our Xenit with Selenium video series and we have been discussing about the auto fixture all these days to customize the data, insert the data within our test which can be very very helpful for us to work with the data itself. And in this video we're talking about how we can customize the auto data that we have created over here, the attribute that we created over here to insert the data over our test methods to populate the data. We saw that while it populated the data, it was all random data, like pretty much how it did before. But now we need to customize it in such a way that we get a handle of how to handle the data which we are inserting as well. So if you remember in our last video, we used this auto data attribute of auto fixture dot x unit two over here, but that's something gonna generate the data which is all random. We need to now customize it. So how we're gonna do it is by using customization of the auto data fixture itself. So in order to customize the auto data fixture, we are gonna create a folder here and I'm gonna call this as x unit uh, extension, something like that. So we're gonna extend it basically. And over here, I'm gonna create a attribute called as, let me just create it like a class file, C sharp class. I'm gonna call this as register user attribute. This particular attribute is then gonna be used within our test method over here. That is the whole idea. So in order to achieve this particular thing, what we're gonna do it is we are gonna call our auto data attribute as the class that we're going to be inheriting over here and once I do that it also tells me that I need to generate a constructor something like this. So this is the constructor which I really require for us to be generated so that I can really pass the data back to my base class which is nothing but the register auto data. So let me generate this particular constructor and over here I'm also gonna do this. I'm going to call the base and you can see that once I do that the github copilot is going to give me some more suggestion like how I can customize it all these things uh, so let me just do this I'm not going to use that particular thing so let that be over there uh, and on the base I'm going to say all right uh, within this base I'm going to do the customization that I'm looking for so var fixture as new fixture hit control dot so this is the same fixture that we used even before and I'm gonna say fixture dot customize of the register user model that we are going to be customizing and within this I'm gonna say I need to customize the email let me hit control dot so which is gonna be x dot and I'm gonna say the email and I'm gonna say that if there is going to be an email property, then just insert my email ID, something like this. So this is the first customization that I'm going to be doing. And then I'm going to also say that I also need to customize in such a way that if there is going to be a password field, then just enter the password, uh, something like a bit complex password, like P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D at uh, 1, 2, 3, something like that. That's it. So this is the level of customization that I really wanted to. Let me just format the document and you can see that it is more better this time. Format with C sharp. There we go. All right. So that's looking cool. And once this is there, I also need to return my fixture over here. There we go. So that is the register user attribute. So this attribute now is going to be helpful for us it's like a customized version of it, which I can use for my data to be passed within my test methods over here. So now hopefully you got the idea. This is going to be exactly the same kind of code that we actually did over here in our earlier videos using the build method of fixture, which is nothing but the builder pattern of the fixture. All right. So now I'm going to replace the auto data. So I'm just going to probably copy this whole thing and I'm going to paste it over here. And I'm going to say register user with register user attribute, which is cool. And I'm going to call the register user attribute over here. And then I'm going to call this from our extension method. And I'm also going to format the document. There we go. That's cool. So now let's see if our 
test method is going to receive the data which is going to be customized or not. So let me try running the test now. It opens up the browser. And you can see that it has entered a password which is not like higher length, which means it has inserted the password 01 for us. And the email is going to be karthik at techgeek.co.in. So now you can see that it is actually customized for us. The data is actually customized for us. And we can write our own custom attributes to extend the auto data using the auto data fixture attribute that we have over here. So this is the another level of extension that you can make. But now comes naturally another question that how could I actually customize this even further using, but the next question naturally comes is, why should I actually pass a hard-coded value over here? How can I actually customize the data in such a way that if I see any property like email, then just append the at techgeek.co.in behind that particular data that you are creating. And similarly, if you see any property with password, then just try making that as a complex password, like the same auto-generated value, including some more dynamic value, like some random value, something like that. So how can I do that level of customization? Well, that's a very good question. You could actually do it using the iSpecimen Builder, which we'll be discussing in our next video.